All right, everybody, welcome. Quarantine Kitchen, episode seven. We've made it a week. Uh, tonight is an episode that uh, we're in survival mode now at this point. Uh, we're trying to hold off, trying to make it through the week. Uh, you have to manage space. The fridge was getting kind of full. So one of the go-tos here is uh, quesadillas. Basically, a quesadilla is just a uh, tortilla you fill with whatever leftover meat and vegetables you have from the week. Put some cheese on it. You put it in a skillet till it melts. You cover it in salsa, and you drink beer with it. So, uh, I have my lake hat on tonight. Um, normally, I only wear this out at the... Uh, State Park at Keyhole, they shut all that down. I'm pretty bummed about that. We're not, I don't know if we'll ever go boating again. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. So, we're not going to let that dampen the mood though. We uh, Kids got to eat. Uh, that's biblical and federal, I guess, would be the best way to say that. So, we do have to feed the children. So, here's what we're going to do. I got the leftovers. We got some of the leftover ribeye and T-bones. Uh, we got some ham I chopped up. We got some uh, green chilies left over. We diced those up. We went ahead and cracked open a uh, little thing of uh, chili beans. Just throw on there. We have a tad bit of green chili left. We'll smother in there. And my favorite, the onions and, of course, the butter. So, quick and easy tonight. We're going to make quesadillas. So, here we go. All right. We got everything set up here. I'm gonna show you, this is the key to making quesadillas right here. All right? And I don't want any feedback about why I don't make my own tortillas. That's, we have to be quarantined for a long time before we get into that. Ah, there's some things that it's just worth buying. Okay, so the key for the tortillas is, uh, I like to butter, shocking I know. I take a little butter, put it on the side you're gonna put down. Oh yeah, right there. Rub butter all over that guy. Spread it evenly. Spread it evenly so you get a good burn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got away from me there. Okay, so this first one, uh, of course we're making it for Boss Lady. So she likes uh, green chili base. So we're gonna put here, take a little green chili. You're gonna do just a little smother. It's the old smother and rub here. Okay, so we're gonna smother and rub. Okay, get a little base of the green chili there. Uh, we got our <clears throat> chili beans. Just a little bit of those two. Just spread that out right there. That, oh man, that's gonna be good. Right there. Um, Okay, after that, I'm gonna take a little bit of the steak. Okay, bam. Now, even distribution of the meat. Okay. Need a little meat over here. The goal is meat and every bite. Meat. In every bite, if for some reason you do it and you don't get meat in every bite and people complain, tell them to make it themselves. So, I mean, it's, we've, we've reached that point with our manners right now. So, here we go. Put a little cheese. Oh, yeah. A little more, you cannot have, there's no such thing as too much cheese. Old old girl in half right there. Oh yeah. So over here, start the oven. Oh, this is the wrong one. Okay, there we go. So nope, let's do it this way. Try not to make a mess. I cannot promise. I can't promise you I'm not gonna drop this. Uh, if I do though. 
you know who will let me know. All right, so there you go. You're just going to lay it down in there. Uh, you get the fire rolling. Uh, we're going to flip it here in a minute. All right, here we go. The key to making a good flip, you got to come over here. Um, get a spanking stick, a spatula. You probably call it a spatula. We call it a spanking stick here at the house. Um, get your tortilla facing away, and then just bam, a little flip like so. You'll hear the sizzle. Grab another beer. One of the questions I got the other day uh, was, do you come home, just, just come home from work and start drinking every day? And I told the gentleman, well, uh, yeah, that's what I do. And he said, uh, well, that's what he does. Uh, but his wife yells at him for it. And I asked him, well, there's a difference between just getting off work, going to the bar, and drinking with your pals. That's not, that's not gonna work. I can assure you, beyond all reasonable doubts, if you come home from work, and your wife comes home from work, and you're drinking in the kitchen, making dinner, you're not gonna hear about it. I, I'd almost guarantee it. So, we're getting close here. Uh-oh! Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. See that color right there? That is going to be one good quesadilla right there. All right. Let's check her. Oh, that's, that's what we're after right there. Bam. Dump it out there. Now... For some of you that pay really close attention to stuff, you may notice we didn't wash the cutting board. We're not, this isn't the sizzler, okay? Just bear with me, all right? Times are tough. So, boom, boom, boom. Little paste, picante on top of that. Man, that's how you get rid of your leftovers, right there. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, everybody.